everybody. We're here one more weekend. Un, un fin de semana más con Stay at Home Festival. Um, hemos querido daros este, este fin de semana también para tener algo que hacer. Pues no vais a estar todo el día en casa viendo Netflix. Hello everybody. Ya veo que se está uniendo más gente. Así que bueno, hemos estado, hemos pensado que estos, estos talleres podían ser... Uy, me estoy oyendo por allí. Gelen, me oigo. Sí, <laughs> because Galen is, is playing this live on his computer over there. It's where everything is happening. I'm going to show you. Os voy a enseñar dónde pasa todo, todo, todo entre, entre bambalinas. Aquí estamos. Dí hola, Gelen. Hello. <laughs> no se te ve. Que me oía por ahí, por eso era un poco raro. <laughs> Pero bueno, ya vamos a lo que vamos. Que estaba diciendo yo que... Ok, how loopers? I think it's English is better. So I was saying that this weekend um, we wanted to offer you more workshops, uh, more things to do, more music, to bring more light to the world. Um, I think it's um, at least what we can do, like all people related to arts, Music, music, um, theaters, um, dancing. I have seen a lot of people doing live videos, which is so, so, so great. Um, it's, it's just awesome what it's happening. It's, it's crazy also because it's a crazy time. It's like a film, but, but it's, it's amazing at the same time all the things that are happening. So well. So I'm going to teach you today, I'm, bring, I'm going to bring you some of my Castilian music, my Castilian tunes, the music that I love. Um, if you have any questions, si tenéis alguna pregunta, que pone aquí? Bombaninos. <laughs> if you have any question, uh, un, si, si, queréis, eh, si tenéis alguna pregunta, you can, you can type there. Uh, Podéis escribirlo por aquí, intentaré a ver si lo puedo ver. <laughs> I'll try to to see what you're writing. Um, so let's begin. I have here, I don't know if you can see it. I have some ooh, kitchen percussion, my bottle of uh, licorice. We say anise, it's, it's a dangerous word for English because it's spelled anus, but it's not anus, it's licorice. <laughs> Anís de la castellana para después de comer. Uh, we have a mortar here, un mortero. And we have spoons, unas cucharas. The ones that you have at here in your house probably. So I'm going to, do, I'm going to try to uh, show you a little bit of the Castilian rhythms with these three things I have here. If you want to play it with me, uh, go now and take some spoons. Go to your kitchen, take some spoons, and take a mortar if you have a mortar, and take a bottle if you a bottle better that has like a, this. Um, I don't know how you say that. Estos estos puntitos de aquí. So it it makes noise like this. So you can go now, I'll wait for you. De momento voy a ponerlo aquí abajo. Y bueno, vamos a empezar con unos ritmos muy básicos, ¿vale? Unos ritmos que se pueden tocar, por ejemplo, con la pandereta. No, la J. This is J rhythm. It's a three. So. Ritmo de J, J rhythm. Y lo característico de este ritmo, bueno, lo característico, una de las cosas básicas que hay que aprender para tocar bien una J es saber diferenciar el ritmo que va para el estribillo y el ritmo que va para la copla. ¿vale? So, eh, sí, para la copla lo he dicho bien. En eh, inglés, 
the important thing for a hot, for the jota rhythm, for playing well jota rhythm, is to know the difference between um, the rhythm that goes for the chorus and the rhythm that goes for the... How do you say the other thing? Gail, how do you say chorus and what? No me contesta. I'm alone. Bueno, I think you understand. The chorus and the other part that is not the chorus. Sorry for my English. <laughs> So, the cor um, chorus part, el estribillo, ¿vale? Sería... ¿Vale? Que esto se puede. You can also play it with the mortar. Here we have... Do you have your mortars? You can play... Or you can do it with your hands also. One, three, one. Y eh, la estrofa, ¿vale? Por así decirlo, la copla. The, the other part that is not the chorus. <laughs> um, verse. Ha, I have it. I knew it. I knew that worked. Verse. Uh, the verse, it's more like this. So I'm going to do it first with a tambourine. So we have chorus, and verse. Okay, and then you can combine them. If you do it with the mortar, In chorus, that's it. So you have verse and you have chorus, and you can uh, accompany this this uh, jotas all the time with any kind of instrument with those two bas basic things. They're very very basic, but it's going to it's the most important thing, I would say, um, for for accompanying any any kind of tune from any part of the world, right? Is the rhythm that it's underneath. And Castile music um, uh, has a lot of rhythm in in the melody in the music. It's all rhythm, all rhythm. All the words that we sing uh, with the rhythm. It, they have inside, the rhythm is in, in there, so you have to feel okay. And now we are going to take the spoons. <laughs> Any how would you would you ever imagine you can make music? You could make music with two spoons? No, now you're going to do it. <laughs> bueno, estoy hablando en inglés mucho. Vamos a coger las cucharas ahora. Venga. Entonces, so do you have your spoons ready? I, I'm not getting any answer. Is somebody is somebody playing with me? Hmm. No lo sé. Bueno. So I know there's there's people who already know how to play spoons. There's people who has never played spoons. I'm just going to um, explain it very very quick. Ah, Joanna, coge las cucharas. Someone is telling me. Oh yes, Ragnar has spoons. Yes. Okay, go for spoons. Go and take your spoons. Muy bien, Nacho. <laughs> People is telling me here that yes, no, uh, someone, uh, voy a la cocina, me dice Joana. She's going to go to the kitchen to get some spoons. <laughs> perfect, perfect. So while people get their spoons, I'm just going to explain very quickly how, how um, you can grab them or how I grab them. Maybe there are more techniques, okay? Ana Rossi también, hola Ana Rossi. <laughs> so, uh, the way I I play the spoons, um, I have these metal spoons, and I'm using these ones because I um, it's I thought these ones are the the ones that maybe everybody has at their house, um, their houses, <laughs> but there are also wooden spoons that sound very pretty and they're not so loud. 
But we're going to do it today with this one. So I grab it like this. Well, I'm right hand, so I grab it with my right hand. And then underneath this finger, you see it? So I put it like this. And then with the rest, with these three fingers that I have here, I grab it like this, right? So if you see, you have to make a, there, there has to be like a space in between so they can, they can, um, pueden golpearse. They can hit each other. Huh, this is not how you say it. it whatever, you understand. Um, so now the basic thing <laughs> is, um, just do this. Let's play the jota rhythm, okay? Let's keep with the jota. Okay. So you, you can um, you can do it with your leg here, right? And if you put your hand up, then the second movement is. So let's do one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three. So we are doing just one, two, three. We're just doing the two first. One, two. But there is one, the third one is, uh, then we have to play with the hand here. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. There we go. This takes time. It's not like something that you're going to be able to play like the first, like just when you take it. But it, it's really cool to practice this. You can be for hours and hours. So after that, you can do one, two, three, one, one, two, three, one, one, two, three, one, one. Okay, and if we play this with the rhythms, the basic rhythms I said at the beginning, um, let's play the chorus part first, which is one, three, is one, two, dun, dun. Dang, dang, with the pick up, yeah? One, three, one, three, one, three, one. Yeah, I got it, perfect. One, three, one. One, two, three, one, 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 one. Okay, let's do it slower. Sorry, I'm just doing for myself. It's difficult because I don't have people looking at me. Let's do it slower. One, two, three, one, one. One, two, three, one, one. One, one. <laughs> Muy bien, Laura, te ha salido. <laughs> Me encanta. I love to see people's reactions. <laughs> so cool. One, two, three, one, one. One, two, three, one, one. One, two, three, one, one. Okay, this is the chorus. And then the verse, remember it was one. Um, with the da, da. that's important, the da, da. That, that hit. So it's like kind of a mix between the chorus, but there's one like an extra thing is. Da, 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 da. Okay. And why is that important? Because <laughs> I dropped my spoon. Don't drop your spoons. <laughs> why is that that hit important for the verse? Because m most most of the jotas, I would say that's one of the characteristics from the verse of every jota. Um, the melody is going to have a very important note in that beat. For example, let's see. Ya se murió la culebra, la culebra de Castillo, la que por la noche echaba rosa clave la cirio. So if if there's not a note there, the cool thing is if there's a melody in that bit, beat, then you play that bit with the rhythm. Okay? Uh, that was not the best example, but um for example just trying to think about a, a song that has that. There, most most of the of the um, tunes, yeah, most of the the melodies that have that beat, I would say, are for instrumental parts, maybe. But... Ay, vale. Por ejemplo, now, ahora, now I'm going to show you on the fiddle, okay? 
and you can play with me if you want. So remember, one, three, one. Okay, that's the chorus. And the verse. Okay, so that's important. ¿Cuál es la diferencia con el fandango? Uf, me preguntan aquí. Sagrado, ah, Miguel, sí. So there's there, here, Miguel is asking me, what is the difference with the fandango? Um, a ver, un fandango, eh, fandango es, es, tiene un ritmo parecido a la jota, pero es que en cada sitio se llama diferente. En Castilla tenemos fandangos aquí, en, pero son diferentes a los fandangos, por ejemplo, de Andalucía, o a los fandangos, por ejemplo, de Castilla-La Mancha, o a los fandangos de eh, País Vasco, por ejemplo. Entonces, ¿cuál es la diferencia con el fandango? Pues depende de qué fandango, ¿sabes? Es siempre... Es muy parecido, es muy parecido. Y en cada zona, pues los toques son diferentes. Entonces, no hay una respuesta global para eso. Y me ponen aquí, ese ritmo de estrofa es importante a nivel de baile también. Eso es, ahí va. Y yo el único fandango que conozco es el de Fuel Fandango. <risa> no sé cuál es ese. <risa> bueno, el caso es que, eso es, el baile es por eso lo que es importante. People here is commenting and saying, what's the difference with the fandango? And I'm saying that the fandango is different in every part. So we call it, fan we, we can call here... Uh, uh, for a tune we say fandango, but then in the Basque country or in Andalucía they say it also fandango, but then it ha they have like... It's more more or less the same rhythm, um, but but the beats change a little bit because the dance changes. So, so there's not like a global uh, answer for that question. So, but, but, so you can... Uh, Ah, fue el fandango, sí lo conozco, sí, 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 por supuesto que sí. <laughs> es que no había pillado la gracia, lo siento. <laughs> so, I'm going to play now the jota, uh, one, one of the many jotas I know, um, and you can play with me, ¿ok? You can play along with me. Voy a tocar una jota, ¿vale? Y podéis tocarlo conmigo con la percusión, ¿vale? Y así os dais cuenta de dónde va el, el, el golpe, el, este, el, el toque este de, de la estrofa. Va. Como que el estribillo, los pasos van al suelo todo el rato y que en la estrofa se con... Eso es, eso es. Yeah, people is just commenting that um, the, the beats uh, from in the melody go with the steps of the dance. Exactly. Well, you know, in every... I think one of the things that... Um, the, the most amazing things... I know this is very basic for folk music in general from the whole world, but it's amazing that we... We have been dancing and dancing and dancing for for years and centuries. And, and um, for example, here in my region, uh, in, especially in Valladolid, in my city, uh, we haven't keep a lot of the dances. Um, and that's why there is a lot of confusion now um, 
because I, I have a, my master, as I call him, mi maestro, Luis Ángel. Uh, Luis Ángel is a very, very, very good dulzaina player. Uh, and he's teaching me um, all the dulzaina tunes that he he knows. Um, and I'm, what I'm doing with him, I'm, I'm working on putting them on the fiddle. Um, and one of the things that he, he told me, he has to tell, tell, tell me that is that uh, there are a lot of tunes that um, they have been playing for a lot of years, but when they went to uh, play to some, so this, this village, they went to play once to this village uh, for the dance. And then the people from the village was like, no, no, this, this is not working. I don't know why, but, but you're playing it wrong. You know, people in that village, they don't know anything about music, but they know that that music doesn't, doesn't go with that dance. And they were like, we're playing what it's on the score. So I don't understand. And they were like, whatever, I don't, I don't mind, but this is not right. It doesn't go with the dance. And then after a while, they discovered that the repetitions um, were not the, the same as they did in the dance, you know? So, um, and, and once they, they realized that, they played um, like the structure of the tune with the structure of the dance and, and then all of a sudden everything fit like a puzzle. So, um, so it's really important to know, um, at least for casino music, to know how the dance goes in order to play the tunes. Okay, uh, I'm talking a lot. <risa> Entonces, que estoy hablando mucho ya, ¿vale? Eh, quiero enseñaros un tema castellano. Ahora sí, con el, an instrumental tune. I, I want to teach you an instrumental tune. It's a 5-8. Ah, un corrido. It's called corrido. I can type it afterwards. Corrido with two R's. Um, so it's in the rhythm of 5-8. Um, and for this corrido, what I've done is record myself with this instrument, percussion instrument, that it's called Pandero Cuadrado. Um, it's a very, very cool instrument, I have to say. It has a, a lot of possibilities. And so if you see, I have my hand here, my left hand, what do people say? Our cats love you. <laughs> yeah, they say that the cat because we say gatito to play this. It's a mnemotechnic. Um, I don't know if that word exists. Una regla mnemotecnica. <laughs> Entonces, so, tenemos esta mano aquí, this hands here, the left one. Hola, Laura. <laughs> Hola, Roberto. Tenemos aquí el golpe, the, the low beat here, and another one here. So we have... Ga, ti, do, right? So, ga, ti, do, ga, ti, do, ga, ti, do, okay? So, um, I'm going to play now a 5-8, okay? You can play it with me, uh, with your hands. 5-8 five, five, is 3 and 2. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, okay? So, you can do it with your hands. Okay, but I'm going to play it with this so you can see it. Okay, that's a five eight. Uh, I just play this to um, accompany myself when I play, because usually I don't have anyone to play this music with. Please learn this music and play it with me, please. Um, so what I did is that I recorded myself on the computer, and I'm going to play for you this tune. Okay, there we go. A ver si lo podéis oír. ¿Lo oís bien? ¿Se oye esto? ¿Se oye el ordenador? Me tenéis que decir si sí o si no. Can you hear it? I don't know if you can hear it. 
what if I put it next closer? Y si lo pongo aquí más cerca, ¿se oye mejor? ¿Se oye? Bueno, sí, se oye, perfecto. Poco, poco me dicen, a ver si puedo subir el volumen un poco. ¿Mejor? Vale, bueno, es, es un poco, tampoco hace falta que se me haga mucho. Vale, entonces... Eh, vale, voy a tocar este 5x8 I'm going to play the tune Ok uh, Listen, just listen And then I can, I, can, I will teach it to do To you Ugh, Ok So City where I I spent uh, actually three years there. I studied there for three years. Yeah. So that's the tune. We don't have much time, I think. What time is it? A ver, qué hora es? Las cinco y veintiocho. Vale. Bueno, voy a hacer un poquito más de media hora hoy porque me apetece. <laughs> I'm going to do a bit more than 30 minutes, um, but I, I want you to learn um, or to teach you this tune. Um, yeah. So let's do it. Um, this is how it goes. Oh, by the way, um, just if if you if you want to um, if you want to support this stay at home festival before I play this tune, you can go to the website. Podéis ir a la página web para apoyar esta iniciativa uh, y a los músicos sobre todo que nos hemos quedado sin trabajo <laughs> and the, the musicians that we we don't have gigs anymore for like at least two months. You can go to the stayathomefestival.com and you can donate there. And all the funds will be for the musicians. I am stayathomefestival.com. It's in my bio. Está en mi biografía. Venga, vamos a por esta a por esta charrada. Entonces, esto empieza así. Empieza en Anacruza with a pickup. Un, dos, tres, otra vez. Y mo sigo. Y todo junto, everything together. You can put the the el adorno. I don't know, like the roll. Slower. That's the roll. Right. Y sigo, and 
then I go on. string but you don't have to yet so to learn this and it's not the best way without getting the feedback from all of you um, but let's try it okay vamos a probar la parte a part starts with the scale from D, una escala desde Re. Again. Un, dos, tres, y. Un, dos, tres, otra vez. Vale. 
and then it repeats that two times. So, otra vez. de sol menor para abajo re si sol y that phrase ends with a G minor chord from D D B flat G so everything the music content doesn't go back it uh, doesn't go down it just stays on the D so everything together todo junto sería Otra vez, venga. Y ahora termina así. And this is the end of the B part. Really cool. Again, otra vez. un poco rápida y con el tercero. So. ¿Vale? Todos juntos. Un, dos, tres, y. Un, dos, tres, y. Muy bien. And then it, it, it goes like this. So everything together. Otra vez. Otra vez. Muy bien. Y el final, en the end. Sería. Sin adorno, without the rows. Let's play the whole part, the B part, the whole B part. La parte ventera, entonces empieza. Okay, that's the beginning. So, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two. C part is it's basically like very very similar to the rest. The C part goes like this.
ending from Castillo music. Or that also. <laughs> so that's the the um, uh, alarm to say the dancers, hey, it's over, it's over. So okay, that's the whole tune. Uh, Terrada Nacoterana, very beautiful tune from Salamanca. Um, this is all of the workshop. Um, it has been really cool to do this. Ha sido guay hacer esto. Um, se ha pasado super rápido. It's so fast. Time goes so, so fast. Um, if you want to watch it again and you want to learn it slower, si queréis um, eh, aprenderlo un poco más lento, vale? Voy a dejar el video, the live stream is going to be on my profile for a whole day. Va a estar durante un día entero. And probably uh, en mi perfil de Instagram, por si queréis verlo más despacio y aprenderlo más despacio. Um, y, ¿qué va a decir? Ah, and probably also uh, on YouTube. I think we are going to try to put all the concerts and all the workshops um, in on YouTube so you can see them if you didn't get to see some of the concert from last weekend and you can't see all of the workshops from this weekend probably we're going to try to put it on YouTube so you can follow it so um, yeah and um, I want to say also I'm going to keep um, um, yeah, just offering lessons voy a dar clases particulares eh, online Ha, a través de Skype o, o, any, o algún, algún medio de comunicación posible. Um, so, if you want to learn more Castilla music or songs or more about kitchen percussion, si queréis, uh, just go to uh, my website mariasanmiguel.com Que tengo una web ya. Yeah. Sí. So, you just go to mariasanmiguel.com ¿Vale? Esa es la página web para si queréis dar más clases, aprender más música castellana, más canciones o más de mí, si queréis también. Así que bueno, y acordaros, donad en stayathomefestival.com, stayathomefestival.com to donate and support live music. Así que nada, muchas gracias y atentos a, y atentas a la siguiente, al siguiente taller. Bueno, voy a decir que es la leche, pero es que todos, es que de verdad. O sea, no os perdáis ninguno si podéis. Así que, uy, me llaman al timbre. ¡Venga, hasta luego!